Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about online banks. So let's get started. Online banks are sometimes called virtual banks or digital banks, and these three terms essentially mean the same thing. Now, what does online bank mean? Well, online banks offer financial services through the internet, and that could be on a website or through a phone app, but they don't offer any in-person services. So that's the difference between an online bank and traditional banks because traditional banks have brick and mortar locations where they offer in-person services. Online banks do not have that. Online banks are still considered retail banks because they provide services for other people and they do it in a wide variety of ways and for a wide variety of people. They just don't really have a physical retail side. Are they real banks? Yes, online banks are in fact real banks and there is a difference. There is fintech banks, which is something totally different and that is a partnership between a bank and a financial technology company in order to provide services that a traditional bank or online bank does not currently offer and that's going to be the topic of next week's video. But we're talking about just plain old online banks. So they do their financial services but they do them online and they don't have in-person. Another thing to note is that online banks are real banks, so they generally are FDIC members and therefore have FDIC insurance attached to the deposits in their account. So let's talk the pros and cons to an online bank. The first pro is that they are technology based and therefore they generally have a really good user experience across their website as well as through their phone app. Accessibility and convenience. Well, because they're online and online never sleeps, generally their services are available to you 24 seven and some online banks include that with customer support. So that's something that not all retail banks offer. Lower fees and better interest rates. Online banks don't have overhead costs in terms of real estate, which is really expensive no matter where you are currently in the United States. And therefore they pass on the savings by then bring better interest rates because again, their overhead cost is lower than a traditional bank. Security measures. Online banks really focus on cybersecurity because again, they are online banks. So they wanna make sure that their stuff is encrypted to the T and that way your information is safe. They offer robust security in terms of two-factor authorization, different types of encryption levels, fraud detection systems, etc. The last pro is they generally have really good integration with other online tools such as bookkeeping or budgeting and what it allows is for people to easily transfer over their banking information without giving full access directly to their account and that allows for easier tracking, managing finances, and ensuring that you're staying within a budget. Cons, limited physical presence. Because they don't have retail locations, so those brick and mortars, they don't have a place that you could go to and talk to a person face to face. They do have customer service and it's usually over the phone or through email or through a chat portal, but they lack that face to face component that traditional banks offer. Cash deposit challenges. So for some online banks, they do not allow for cash deposits and some do. That is something you just have to look into limited ATM networks. So this one's a little surprising to be listed as a con because a lot of online banks do try to have a large network of ATMs available to their consumers. So when you are looking into an online bank, make sure that there are ATMs local to you and that are in close proximity to where you work or where you do your business at, not to be caught surprised by having to use a different ATM and incurring a surcharge. Potential tech issues. So because they are online banks, there is the potential that their services may be down or interrupted because of third party integrations, etc. So unlike the previous videos, I'm actually going to mention some online banks because that way you know what is an online bank versus a credit union or a traditional bank slash retail bank. One of the most well-known ones and one that I actually personally use is Ally Bank. Now, Ally Bank is a online bank and it is FDIC insured. So you can be rest assured that your money in there is going to be safe in case for some reason Ally no longer is in business. Now, they are generally known for having savings buckets and a good amounts of 
high yield savings accounts. They also offer CDs, home loans, and other loans. Marcus by Goldman and Sachs. So this is a bank that is from an investment firm. And so it's just a division from it. And it also offers high yield savings accounts, CDs, and personal loans. Discover Bank. So Discover Bank is primarily known for its credit cards, but it now also has a bank. So you can have a checking account and savings account. The savings accounts are also high yield savings accounts and they have CDs and of course a cool offering is that they do have a cash back debit card so different than their cash back credit cards. So the reason why I also wanted to bring up these online bank examples is because there's a trend and it seems that a lot of credit card companies or investment firms are looking into expanding their portfolio and offering banking services. So that's one way to kind of tell if it's an online bank versus a traditional one. So yeah, that's the basics about online banks. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it below. As always, happy to help or just say hi. Love saying hi back. And until the next one, I'll see ya. Bye.